get some stuff shot. Hey, welcome to a day in the life of a Kansas filmmaking intern. In this video, we're just gonna be showing you kind of a look inside of our lives, what we do from day to day, the kind of projects we work on. Hopefully it's interesting and enjoy. Do a motion or something. All right, boys, getting ready to start the work day. Yep. All right, we're off to do the work day. Okay, so normally on the drive up, we get some work done on the film. We are currently in production on our new passion project, a post-apocalyptic short film that will hopefully wrap in the near future. We'll have more content on the making of that coming out soon. So here is our current version. Writing is not easy, kids. Become the writer you want to see in the world. What do, we, what do we have for breakfast, Devin? Protein shake and banana. This is what happens when you roll out of bed <laughs> later than you expect. All right, up to Loft Lorian, <laughs> AKA the intern loft. Peep the literature. That's lit. And standing no. desk. This is perfect. So I'm gonna hop on uh, my timesheet here. So this just helps us keep track of our hours here. The coffee pot is empty and that is a problem. <laughs> Coffee is the heart and soul of the creative endeavor. What's Hello, Alicia. <laughs> My name is Alicia. I am the producer here at Feely Creative. After the client signs their contract, then the project comes to me. I start communicating with the client, make sure that all those pre-production elements are in order before we go to the shoot day. So I kind of take things from contract to editing and then I send it off. What's up? I think we're also gonna try to get um, you guys and Tim on the psych. So I'm gonna ask you some questions about the making of Unboxed. So I guess I'll let you know, I, I need to go write the questions for that interview. Oh so yeah. Yeah. Questions, <laughs> so we can do it. Makes sense. <laughs> Unboxed is a short film that we helped create over the summer. It's about a guy rediscovering his creativity as an adult. In short, we had one more day to finish tweaking it in post. We're really proud of the film and you can check it out here. Hey Tim. Hi, I'm Tim Burns. I am the production assistant at Feel the Creative. Most of my time is actually spent here <laughs> at my desk, uh, doing a lot of editing. Uh, there's kind of a system between Alicia, Devin, and I. Most of my time is spent here doing that. On today's schedule, we've got a team lunch at Old Chicago to say goodbye to us. But I guess we're going to be shooting something at the psych. No time for banter and jokes. All right, well, we're going to head down to the psych, get some stuff shot. Act natural, Devin. I am. <laughs> Here we have the studio. Um, so this is our recording area. There's like no sound whatsoever. <laughs> Charging slash storage station. Got our C-stand box here. Got our little mobile cart. Here's our audio cart. This is kind of the lighting shelf over here. This is the psych. You can use it for interviews or backdrops. You can actually run the whole setup from here. You can go absolute crazy on this. So that's kind of where we've been working. It's kind of what this setup's gonna look like. So we got our key over here, a uh, bit of fill, it's our hair light, and then this is just on the psych, casting a little bit of color. Well, we've got dust on the lens. Is it on the sensor or the lens? Sensor. If it was on the lens, it would probably focus past it. Oh, I think I got it. I never actually watched the movie before until last night. One mobster from Miami went to LA. He goes up to the guy's wife. Oh, really? What do you guys talk about? And she's, he's like, well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> and then he punches her in the head. <laughs> cool. I think this is looking fantastico. If you sit down, then I can take a look at it. Oh, I don't think there's any. Okay, yes, there we go. Slump a little bit. Well, I'm Devin Frederking. I'm the executive producer here at Feely Creative, and I oversee the production and the creative part of what Feely Creative does. They knocked out Tim's interview first, so I went back to editing the film. All right, what are we working on here, Seth? It's struggling a little bit. This <laughs> is why you never use a Mac for VFX. If you could make the balloon sway back and forth like a little I bit. I can. Uh, there's this thing called puppet tool. 
So here is the uh, unboxed project. Up here I've got like my adjustment layers, just color, got some grain up here, video clips, sound effects here, environment sound, foley that I recorded, music. Should be mostly done with that today. Enjoy the spicy audio. Ooh, did you get that nightcrawler? Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh. Kind of the style that we developed for this particular film is almost more of a... Painterly effects. Because it, it takes place in the mind of a kid. Glow. It fixes everything. <laughs> that that looks work. about right. The donut tutorial! If you're totally new to Blender, welcome. <laughs> How could I forget? Oh, it's done. Okay. Pretty good. Maybe if the landscape bobbed up and down a little bit, it would make it look like you're shooting it from another balloon. That's probably true. All right, let's go get Skylar. Oh no. I'm Skylar Nelson, and I'm the executive assistant here at Feely Creative. I help schedule meetings. I help Sydney with marketing, um, and also help Gus with anything that he needs. Mic on? Okay, pretty sure. There's a bit of a jump cut here to where he sits down, he gets situated, and like it cuts in like this. So I can cut technically on the action of like his shoulders coming down here. But for the sake of the story, I want a little bit of space there. And so I have to make a decision. Do I do a jump cut or do I give up the timing in order to have a cleaner cut? This is like all the tiny decisions that you have to make if you're editing something. Oh look, shoes. All right, Seth has made a couple adjustments. Let's see what we have. Literally fire. <laughs> Dumb. Don't care. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Why don't you send that over to me? Shout. What a loser. All right, well, this is how this shot fits into the sequence here. Um, got a balloon shot, which is not finished. That is not finished. But it will be. Soon. Right, Seth? Right, Seth. Yeah, so Sydney was busy with meetings all day, but she's the business development manager and is in charge of marketing and that kind of thing. Here is the final shot in the film. Yeah, I wish it was the last shot I had to work on. Isaac? Yes! Alicia's ready for you. She's ready for that. Hop over the railing. Hop. Okay, this is the question I've been asking everyone today. Have you ever had the no pants dream? I don't remember any specific instances, but yes, I've probably had that dream. How many questions were you like asking, 30. Tim? Thompson? It was maybe like six. It was a okay. normal amount, Isaac. I'm just an intern. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget that. What a snazz vest. It looks pretty good. Are you going to put it in a sunflower? Uh, maybe. The rules a lot, so. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've noticed. <laughs> okay. Off we go to old Chicago. Yeah, I can sit in the back. Wait, no, this doesn't actually work. Just sit on the floor. I Actually, love this. Metal. <laughs> Drive carefully, Sydney. Well, I should yeah. not be the one driving. Some people that I knew in college like basically just drank coffee and somehow lived off of that. I don't know. Yeah. Pop I mean, quiz when you're breaking down a script. In what fraction do you break your script? Eights. Eights is correct. You've been writing a script. How much sleep do you get? Done. Yeah. There was a scene in uh, No Way Home where they had the Statue of Liberty and they had cap shield on it and they didn't want to show that in China. So they just said, okay, I guess we're just not going to show it in China then. Why, Why does that threaten your communist government? It's, it's just a big metal woman. Jim, that is exactly why. Thank you, kind sir. You are most welcome. Thank you, brother. We had a lot of fun at the office this morning. Have you ever had the no pants dream? How so many punches are in the head? Pop over the room. Pop. <laughs> I'm just an intern. <laughs> That's right. Oh, good. Yeah, it was good. Too much fun. <laughs> so I'm Gus. I am the owner and CEO of Feely Creative. And that basically means I do my best to try to answer the questions and solve the problems of the people who work here at Feely. How did you get hired at Feely? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had an appropriate level of fun. Yeah, we got work. We didn't have too much fun. <laughs> Devin just came here to watch us. Eat. Like he's not gonna. I'm come observing in here. eating habits of interns. <laughs> How's your pizza, Sam? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Progress has that made. Notice how I got the shadows correct direction wise. Let me cook. What are you Take cooking? Effects here. Stuff. It's pretty subtle, but it looks pretty good actually. Yeah. Is this just a picture? Yes. I can kind of tell. 
yeah, what I might do is cut out and do like a couple different Yeah, areas. just so there's like a little bit of movement. All right, keep hacking away. Uh, yeah, hacking. <laughs> oh, it's funny. We're playing Sushi Go. Deal. So Seth has just sent me our plane shot. This is what Not the looks. last shot, but I wish it was. No, but the last plane shot. Uh, so that's what that looks like without a color grade. Maybe we should just stay with this one. It's basically the same shot. And so I'm going to copy this color grade over here and paste the attributes. That's a bit much, obviously. I'll just take the saturation down. And then I kind of want to mess with some hues here. Let's try some different looks here. We need to go yell for Seth. I see a couple here and there. Alright, Devin is in the lead. Oh boy. This round. He's got 19. Yours truly is in Only second. Oh yeah. my goodness. We gotta yeah, beat Devin. Bro. So, we three are safe. Dang it, I did. So the Dang it, I did. Dang it! Dang it! Seth did win the next round of Sushi Go, but he left his mic off, so you can't hear him screaming like an intoxicated monkey. The end of the work day? But the work for us has just begun. It was a somewhat normal work day. We usually have more client projects to work on, but since we're finishing up with the film, then that's kind of what the focus was today. Let the car hold up for just one more day. <laughs> one of the joys of riding in Seth's car. We'll It'll see. go down. It'll go down. It didn't go down. Okay, we are taking the interstate for better or for worse. Yeah, we are. Also, keep the AC unit. We've got the uh, sweat fest going on. Look at my legs here. Miraculously, my car did not explode, and we were able to make it all the way back. Waspies. Did you get rid of them? Some of them. Aisha, have you been a good dog? Lazy pooch. Changed out of my work clothes, and now I'm going to go on a walk. So it's just a good way to wind down after being at work. I think Seth is gonna go work out, and we should be able to get some more work done on the film after that. First try. All right, here's dinner. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. About to start my daily devotions, and I have been reading in the book of Deuteronomy. There's a strange boy. <laughs> Cookie. Mm. After that, I knocked out some color grading for another personal project. Look at that sun. I think I'm just gonna sit out here for a while, get some fresh air. Play with the kittens, that type of thing. We did have some plans for things that we were going to do today, but at the moment we're both kind of worn out. We will continue to grind, but I think we'll call it quits on our film project for today. It's gonna be uh, chilling really hard right now. Yeet. Nope. Nope. I'll get you. Oh, hey. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> you, you gotta admit that wasn't very nice. Some days, you know, you get something really interesting happens. Other days, you go to work and you get things done and you go through the grind. Sometimes life feels boring. We don't feel like we're changing the world or doing anything important. But what if we were thankful for all of the little things in life? A real laugh. A hot cup of coffee, friends, family, kittens, big metal women, sunsets, good food, beautiful scenery, and music. We can't choose what happens tomorrow, but we can choose how we live today. Your life is a gift. What are you going to do with it? We hope you 
have kind of enjoyed just a peek into what we're up to at the moment. If you did get here, we'd really appreciate a like. Uh, drop a comment below and let us know where you guys are watching from. Mm. Until next time. This is Crossbow Productions. <laughs> 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 <laughs>